Welcome to City Week, ladies and gentlemen. Today, my guest is on from the city of LaGrange. I have on the web designer and developer, Nikki Nix. Nikki, welcome to the show. Thank you, Alton, for having me. Well, it's a pleasure to sit down with you. And you know, you're going to be talking about something that I'm kind of, I'm just going to go ahead and confess <laughs> up front. I don't have a great deal of knowledge about web design or, or development, anything like that. But I know that you really enjoy what you do with yes, the city of Grange, I right? Do. Well, great. Very Nikki, much. talk a little bit about your, your journey here with the city of LaGrange, if you don't mind. I've been with the city of LaGrange for six years and a few months. Um, started summer 31st, 2007. Um, and I started out with IT support. Okay. And then for the year and two months now, I have been doing web development. Um, I went to Columbus State and got a master's in software development. So oh. that's what got me promoted to that. Well, great. You know, I, I also have a master from Columbus State University oh, as well. that's awesome. That's it. <laughs> it's it a is. great school. It is a great school. You know, I um, did that some years ago when I was down in the police department, mm -hmm. uh, continuing the education program. So as the web designer <coughs> and developer for the city of LaGrange, I know that we have a web page yes. uh, that our citizens can go out and look up various information. Talk a little bit about our web page, if you don't mind. Um, the web page is just for the citizens and any vi visitors of LaGrange, Georgia. Um, that want to know a little more about the city, um, such as our departments, our services, what the uh, city council does, and the mayor, um, and any events or anything like that, any latest news, press releases, oh, so okay. on. It's pretty informative. It is. And, and you're responsible for updating this? Yes. Sir. And how frequent do you update it, Nikki? About every day. <laughs> every day. We always have something new coming out. Um, like jobs or um, news, something to that extent. <laughs> okay, all right. And, you know, I go out and I utilize our page, from, you know, from time to time. There's a lot of information mm -hmm. there. And you know, talking about that, I need to get some things updated in my area there as well. Uh, but that's a big task there, mm -hmm. uh, to have a web page. And, and, and to have it something that's appealing to our citizens and, and visitors, as you mentioned, that they will make them want to come back to that uh, site each time. That's right. Talk about some things that are going on, and I know that you, there's a, a new app that, um, that you've been working on. Uh, let's jump in and start talking about that a little bit, because I know it has a lot of features, and a lot of things, helpful information that our citizens and visitors can look at. Talk a little bit about the, I guess, the concept to come up with this new app. Okay, uh, the City of LaGrange needed an app because everybody's mobile right now. Um, so we wanted to get away, have a tool for citizens or um, any visitors to be able to interact with the city. Um, <clears throat> so we developed this and uh, we called it city, city LG. Okay, very good. And I know that we're gonna, uh, I want my viewers to understand that you have an iPad here and I'm gonna be watching yes, a monitor as you kind of walk us through some of the mm -hmm. features that are on the app. Let's go in and jump into it if you don't mind, Nikki. Uh, okay. Tell us the first thing that the uh, if, uh, the, the first thing that people will see when they go onto the uh, site there. Okay, so when you uh, get the app from the App Store or from Google Play Store, <coughs> you'll find that you have <coughs> your main screen here and you have four buttons. The first button is your Find City Info, and this is a really great feature. Um, it lists all our services and departments for the city, and if you click on one from that list, it will actually plot on a map and you will see with a marker this is LG TV and then this is the address. Oh, okay. If you need more info, you can click on the info button and it lists a photo as well as uh, LGD, LG TV's contact information and a description. Okay, yeah. If you go back and you go back to your map, you can actually plot your location so you can actually see where you are so you can get an idea of a distance. Okay. And you can turn on a satellite feature so that you can see the aerials of the place instead okay. of a um, street map. Oh man. And going back, we can go to connect. And connect basically just puts all of our websites out there for you um, and also other uh, places that we are associ associated with. Okay. So you have LaGrange Television and it connects to. Um, it has your City Week videos, All right. so you can play those and watch on. And you mentioned earlier about like City Council mm -hmm. uh, or uh, the Mayor. If a mm -hmm. citizen was interested in contacting one of the, the Mayor or the Council members, can they do that from this app as well? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, right. They could actually go to their stand. From here, they can fill out this form. Okay. Um, they can contact City and put in a brief description. Okay. Need help. 
And then they also have, if they need to, the option to take a photo. Oh, man. Okay. Use it and submit. And <clears throat> that will go through your email. Okay. And it goes to suggestions at lagrangega.org. Okay, very good. And I know that a lot of times uh, people call in and they speak with our executive secretary and want to leave mm -hmm. a message for the mayor. So this is an instant way to get a message to the mayor. Yes. And, uh, and, I'm, and the mayor returns all of the phone calls or he makes sure that the staff makes sure mm -hmm. that he gets back with the individuals. Yeah. Uh, let's say, for example, a lot of times, you know, people riding throughout our city and they may see, you know, a, a pothole most common mm -hmm. thing can they report that yes, there as well yes oh. definitely okay mm -hmm. and how what did they just go again go to the suggestion area uh the cement mm -hmm. okay the, the cement, cement area mm -hmm. okay all right very good um what are some other things that they can they have there they can actually pay their bill ah. or their fine oh, the f okay. um so we have a way for them to go out to the website to pay mm -hmm. your bill your t utility bill okay and then you can also pay your fine if you have one with PD. Okay, with the PD or the municipal, municipal court there. Court, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, and I'm going to assume, but I want to ask a question. These are secure sites. We're talking about paying bills. These are secure sites that yes, people. Sir. Are, okay, mm -hmm. very good. All right. Um, and I know that you know. Of course, you talked about the departments, um, mm -hmm. the gas department, electric department. Can mm -hmm. they send emails to employees via this application um, as well? The uh, contact information is listed. Okay. So that they can do that. And let's see. So they can get their information from here and give them a phone call, or okay. um, they can go back to their submit and submit okay. a request, and it will get forwarded to the right oh, okay. uh, department head. Or to the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I noticed when you you went to like the I guess not the home page but the page after there was a list of various services there. Mm -hmm. What are some of those other uh, services <coughs> there, Nick, if you don't mind? We have a uh, City Hall, Fire Administration, okay. Fire Station 1 through 4, um, the Police Station, PD okay. Training Center, Utility Service, okay. Sewer. All right. Um, good list. A good uh, Most of every, <laughs> yes. everything throughout There's the city. about, city. I want to say, 18 on here. Okay. All right. So. And I guess one of the other uh, things that I hear uh, that <coughs> comes into the executive secretary from time to time, someone may be out riding and, and they may see an animal, a dead animal yes. alongside the road. Yes. They can also report that here yes. as well. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's where the picture can kind of mm -hmm. come in, in place there, take a picture of it. Yes. Okay. Well, very good. And, and how long did it take you to design? Something like um, this, Nikki. Well, I would say with involving testing too, because that does you do have to put in some time for that. Mm -hmm. I would say for um, the iOS app, okay, it was probably about three and a half months, maybe. Um, and then for Android, it's about the same, about three and a half. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And you, you talked about the ISO app, and you also talked a little bit earlier about <coughs> uh, the Android. Mm -hmm. Now, how can citizens go and, and access this app? They can, for Android, they can go out to Google Play Store okay. and they can type in the uh, keywords to search City LG and LaGrange. And then also for iOS, you can find it in your uh, App Store. Okay. And the same search by LaGrange or City LG. Okay. So just basically go out to each, either one of those mm -hmm. uh, stores and download City LG mm -hmm. and then download. And it, it is free to the Yes, citizens? it is free. It's okay. free to All everyone. Right. Okay. And, and let me ask you, you now, if, <laughs> if they, someone has an error and they're trying to download mm -hmm. it, if they encounter an error while they're trying to download or once they've downloaded the app and they encounter an error, what do you suggest that they do? Uh, please report it okay. so that I can know, so that I'm, I can fix the bug as soon as possible and throw out an update. Okay. Have it's you very seen, helpful to know. Okay. Have you seen any at this point? I know with any yes, technology. I, I did uh, encounter one with Android and I had someone submit the crash mm -hmm. and that helped me to figure out exactly what was wrong and to get rid of that bug and re-release an update. Oh, okay. So it's, it's great when people give me feedback. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you said submit the crash. I mean, now help me to understand. Um, so if the app crashes and it says, for example, on Android, unfortunately, app has, has stopped, mm -hmm. then you would know it's crashed. So you can submit that in and say, okay, you know, I'm reporting that this crash happened. Oh, okay. Okay. And that comes directly to you? Yes. It's, okay. Yes, very uh, helpful. Let me, let me ask you, if someone was listening here today, Nick, and they wanted to download the app and they need a little <laughs> assistance like I did, yeah. uh, is there contact information that, that you can give them to kind of help guide them through? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. They could email support at lagrangega.org. Okay. 
Um, or also just call 706-883-2071. Okay. All right. Well, very good. Um, we're sitting down today, ladies and gentlemen, with Nikki Nix with the City of LaGrange, our web developer and web designer who just unveiled it. How long have this been out and available to the public, Nikki? Um, the Android has been available since February. We did have the um, iOS app out, I want to say November, but we weren't really advertising it at that point. Okay. We were waiting for Android. Well, okay. Well, very good. And we're, we're unveiling an app that's uh, free to the citizens mm -hmm. and visitors to download and uh, learn a little bit more about our city, right? Mm -hmm. Well, Nikki, we want to thank you very much for coming on and sharing this information. We hope that uh, we don't have a, a lot of crashes, but we hope oh, that yeah. we get a lot of requests. <laughs> but <laughs> yes, it, it's helpful. Absolutely. Well, Nikki, thank you very much for thank coming you. on and sharing the information today. Thank you very much. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We're back for more City Week in just a moment.